Hi, and welcome to our Super Micro Tech Talk. Today I have with us Jerry Dean, our Director of System Solutions. How are you doing today, Jerry? Doing great, Heather. Great, I'm excited to see what you have for us. Yeah, um, what we have here is going to be our latest Ultra E product line. So this is one of our latest Ultra servers to join the Intel DP family. We targeted this solution specifically for the telco market, which is ideal for 5G networks and edge applications that require local processing in a small form factor with thermally restrictive requirements. The Ultra E will offer all of these amazing features without sacrificing on compute, storage, or expansion support. So what can you tell me about the Ultra E, Jerry? Yes, this is the Ultra E. This is also known as the SYS220U-MTNR. As you can see from the chassis itself, it's a 2U rack mount server with a depth of 22.6 inches. This allows flexibility to fit in many tight applications, yet still providing a lot of great features. In the front, we have a front bezel that has a dust filter. It has an optimized design with six heavy duty fans in the front, and these are hot swappable. We also have six hot swappable um, full hybrid drive bays. If you are looking for fast storage, look no further than to Gen 4 NVMe, which this server can support. And this is a lot faster than Gen 3, which is almost double the speed. As for the overall capacity with the current drives that are out there in the market, if we basically took this server and took these six drive bays and combined it with the 15.3 um, terabyte drives, we're looking at a total of 92 terabytes of storage capacity, all on NVMe Gen 4 speed. It's quite impressive. It is. So Jerry, what do we have going on in the rear? I'm glad you asked. So one of the things that the server also boasts about is gonna be the expandability. Each one of these ultra servers comes with a redundant power supply. In this particular server, it's going to come default with the 1600 watt AC power supplies. You also have the options to upgrade the power supplies to either a 1300 watt or a 2000 watt AC, as well as a 1300 watt DC, depending on the application itself. As you can see from the back, we also have full connectivity when it comes to LAN, VGA, serial, and also USB 3.0 ports. As for the onboard networking, it's going to come from this particular ultra riser portion. This allows you to have up to dual 25G uh, networking connectivity. In respect to the expansion, you have a total of eight PCI Express Gen 4 slots on this particular server. So can the Ultra E support dual with GPUs? The short answer is yes. Not only can it do dual with GPUs, but we also can support a wide variety of FPGA cards as well. For the Ultra server itself, regarding the Ultra riser, we have a couple of different flavors that you can choose from. In this particular case, this is gonna be showing you another uh, representation in terms of our Ultra riser supporting two full by 16 slots. And as you can see here, we have two A40 cards installed into this particular uh, Ultra riser to offer that particular type of connectivity. As for the WIO riser side, which is basically the left-hand side of the server, we have one by 16 uh, low profile uh, Gen 4 slot that you can tap into, as well as 4x8 PCI Express Gen 4 slots. So you can put multiple different type of cards in this particular server itself. Now the beauty with the Ultra design, because it's modular, we can take these 4x8 slots and use an optional WIO riser, which we can combine those 4x8s to two full by 16 PCI Express Gen 4. And as you can see here, we place two more dual width GPUs on the server. So what does that mean? In this particular server configuration, with the optional parts, we can place up to four dual width cards into this particular server, which is gonna give you amazing uh, compatibility with a lot of different type of hardware that's currently out there. Fantastic. So how about what's under the hood now? I'm glad you asked. So one of the things that we made improvements on for the Ultra E is going to be this quick latch. So now it's very easy to pop open the chassis just with the quick latch feature itself. As you can see, in this particular server itself, uh, we basically have a dual processor solution that supports the latest Ice Lake processors. We're talking about the latest uh, 40 cores up to 270 watts. Um, with that, 
We also have 32 DIMMs on every single one of our Ultra family solutions. So that's gonna give you a very large memory footprint that you can tap into. And not only can you support the latest DDR4 3200, you also can support the latest Intel Octane PMEM 200 series, which is gonna give you even a larger memory pool, which you can basically tap into either app direct mode or memory mode. So that's gonna be a really great feature set. And with the 32 DIMMs itself, you could have a total capacity of up to 12 terabytes of overall memory within this platform. So I've got another question for you. Are these the WIO and Ultra risers back there? That's correct. As I showed you with the optional parts, it'd be as easy as swapping out these particular risers and plugging in the optional risers depending on what type of configuration you want to achieve. So if you need more by eight slots, you have that capability. If you want to utilize the latest uh, by 16 Gen 4 for either GPU, FPGA, as well as maybe the 2200 gigabit HDR cards, you have full capabilities to do so. So that's a lot of amazing features all in one box, Jerry. That's right. The Ultra family of solutions allow us to consolidate many different type of customer specs and requirements into one extraordinary server for them to utilize. With the 22.6 inch depth, you don't sacrifice on compute, storage, or expansion capabilities. You really get a server that can do a whole lot. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jerry, for joining us. This was exceptional information about the Ultra E. And thank you all so much for joining us at our Super Micro Tech Talk. Learn more at supermicro.com forward slash x12. Powered by Intel.